Good morning, Codge Biker here. I've got to put my earplugs in. Welcome to the April vlog. filter in there for you. This bike can do anything as we are about to prove maybe. So we're just entering my Liverpool home. There's a live building, the docks, Albert Dock, all the sites. But we've not come down here for this. This is my April vlog and um, I'm just going to catch up on one or two things that's happened this month whilst heading down into North Wales. Ooh. And that'll probably be a second vlog. There's the three graces. People rushing to work. I'm in no hurry. I've done all that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hit, uh, usually go over the bridge. If you follow my channel, you know that, but just thought for a change, I'm going to go under the Wallasey Tunnel. So I hope I can hold my breath for about 10 minutes because it will be full of car fumes this morning. For those who don't know, Liverpool's got two car tunnels. The, I always get them mixed up. The Queensway, which is the original one from the 1930s, which I'm probably just about to go over the top of, which was opened by King George. And the Kingsway, which is the one I'm going to go through, which was opened by the present Queen in the 1970s. Very confusing. The Queensway, was owned by a king, the king's way was owned by a queen, if you're into your royalty. But locally we call them the Birkenhead Tunnel and the Wallasey Tunnel, because that's where they go, and it's just easier. So I'm not going to use the Birkenhead Tunnel, I'm going to go through the Wallasey Tunnel, the newer tunnel, the king's way. What gets me about this 690 is here I am whizzing through the city, filtering through the traffic. Not this bit because I get cut off. Um, then I'm going to hit the motorway, then I'll be on A roads touring. And then after that I'll be doing something that I've been wanting to do for many years. But as I said that'll be in the next video. Before it all gets banned. There's talk of off-road riding being banned in uh, Boris's Britain. Nice and easy. This tunnel, unlike the Birken Head, is at least two separate tunnels. So you're not going to get any oncoming traffic. Oh, it's gone dark. Oh yeah, it's my visor. That's better. Poo, stinks. Yeah, so we are now, I would guess, just about on the banks of the Mersey, heading down under. Isn't it exciting? Uh, above my head now there's all that water and giant liners giant cruise liners at the dock at the terminal right above my head of course a liner doesn't weigh anything compared to the amount of water that's up there but let's not think about that shall we as we go on the level bit which is probably the bit right under the river Ooh. Felt a spot of water there. It's not leaking, is it? Oh, I see washing his windows of head. <laughs> Screen wash, I think. Right, so we're at the bottom. We're going back up again. So far, lovely. Doesn't smell too bad. For that, we can thank Euro 3, 4 and 5, I think.
So it's not all bad. The light at the end of the tunnel is the light of an oncoming train. Sorry, that was a bit flat. The earplugs. That a total lack of talent. Right, here we are now on Wirral. The locals don't like you calling it the Wirral. So generally I call it the Wirral all the time, but as I'm being polite today, I'm going to call this Wirral. And I'm hoping that the free motorcycle track still exists on the left here. Let's see. Oh yeah, look. Signal of a bike. All you people, you can pay, look. Uh, royalty. Royalty of the road, free. Motorcycles only, look. You don't get a lot, but uh, you do get this bit. And a speed bump. Whoa. Off-road. End. Right. That was the Wallacey Tunnel. Really, nothing to it. Next up, M53. So, after having filtered through the city on my amazing bike, traversed the tunnel, across the river, now we are heading on to the M53 motorway. Not my favourite, but there you go. Still on the motorway. But, uh, just thinking then, these trail rider tyres I've got probably not going to be the best for where I'm going. But on the motorway, they're so good. So much less vibration from all the novelties going around. But, uh, 70 plus miles an hour. No tingling in the fingers or anything. Quite a cold day today. Although nice to have the heat grips on. Get back to you. So I'm cruising along at uh, indicated 70 miles an hour look on a motorway. Nice and smooth. One thing is uh, when I do these vlogs, I try to comment on um, items that I've had for a while. And I was just thinking there about the seat concept, the seat that I've got. Now it's the low seat, so it's not got the thickest stuffing because the idea is to actually lower you a little bit, about 15 millimetres. But I was just sitting on the motorway there and I was thinking how comfortable it is. Yeah, seat concept seat, very expensive, not perfect, but um, does the job. Give me 15 millimetres lower to the ground, which is handy. And probably a bit more comfortable than the stock standard seat. To Wales, Koresi Grimru. Made Wales. Another thing I'd like to mention um, is the ball bearing mount on my GoPro. Now I don't know if the 360 camera is recording, that's another story. There's no battery in that at the moment, I'm running it just straight off the bike just to see whether that will do the job. But uh, this mount is very good nice and smooth to move around. So I'm 50 miles into this journey and it's been all dual carriageway and motorways. We're just starting now to get into uh, Wales proper. See a few Welsh hills over there. It's a bit cloudy. I hope that's not where I'm going. It might well be because I'm going up somewhere around there. I said the sun's uh, burnt off all these clouds by then. No forecast for rain. And the reason I chose to come today actually is because it has been dry for such a long time. And the trail that I'm going to ride later is usually full of water. I've got my waterproof socks on. So that's something. I'm going to have my lunch, hopefully, up in them there mountains. The Berrin Mountains, I think they're called. I'll put it up on the screen if I've got that wrong. Well, I am trundling along here. I did promise to tell you that uh, I'm stuck behind a horse box again, as usual. <laughs> I said horse box. Yeah, the last couple of months I've been um, I've been putting the finishing touches to my workshop project. Everyone seems to be doing a workshop at the moment, but uh, in my case, it was quite sort of uh, urgent in that it was falling down. My brother-in-law is in construction had arranged to come over and help me rebuild it but we were unable to get any bricks in the time frame well that's nice oh look at that what river that is 
we were unable to get any bricks in the time frame uh, that he could be off due to uh, transport issues nationally so it was getting to the stage where I'd either have it to have it demolished or um, rebuilt I couldn't rebuild it because I couldn't get any bricks and it's in quite an awkward spot so well, I had remembered a new construction technique I'd heard of which is uh, where they lift the whole building up with um, a special resin very very expensive but as it's only a single skin single storey garage and it was only one corner of it I bit the bullet and had that done I have to say I'm very pleased with it um, drainage on buildings if you neglect that as this had been you're just asking for trouble it completely undermined one side of the garage and the, it had sunk and it had pulled it was pulling the rest of the garage over getting quite dangerous it cracked in half a builder who did come to look at it refused to do it so anyhow the resin people came lifted it back up into position using lasers I've repaired all the brickwork where it was cracked and damaged, uh, repainted it and made a nice workshop. And who's that for? Oh, it's not for Wolfgang. It's for Elliot, isn't it? Bloody bike, take care of my life. Anyway, it spurred me on to get that done, so I'm really pleased about it. Glad it's done. It's finished. Uh, well, that's a lot of, that's this year's bike budget gone, I'm afraid have been hankering for a long time particularly since I bumped into somebody last year who was riding an antique one ah, that sound I record that the sound of that look at that listen to that sound of that uh, for a boxer engine air oil cooled can't afford an air cooled one shaft drive BMW. Yes, I'm at that age. I'm not getting a GS, don't like them. Don't particularly don't like the modern ones. So, um, unfortunately, the budget for that, I almost bought one last week, but the budget for that has really got into the garage and it would be selfish for me to spend the money I have got left because I have two sons who are going to university and, well, the rest writes itself. So for the time being, we're well, we're going to stick with Wolfgang anyway. I'm not getting rid of Wolfgang. I love him too. Much. I love this bike. But um, it will just have to stick with the adventures of Wolfgang and the occasional blast out on Elliot. I hope that's okay, my dear public. But anyway, here we are at Chirk, my favourite castle. This castle here. Well, this fascinates me because you can see this huge, I think it's Cadbury's factory, I'll just stand up, can you see it? All the smoke. That's like Charlie's Chocolate Factory. It's a nice little place, Chirk and the castle, Chirk Castle's up there. One of my favourite castles of all. Really do like it. So, four and a half miles of Welsh countryside to ride, lovely. And again, Wolfgang, the perfect bike for this. So nice. Look at these trees. I do love a nice tree. A raft. Nice river. Rise with the Isle of Man round here. Only with the speed limit. Well, that's nice. Headed into the sun. What a great bit of road. I keep praising these tyres, but they're so good on the road. But they can do anything at all off-road, I'm about to find out in the next episode of Codger Biker. Can I ask you, how green is your valley? Oh, very green indeed. Lovely. So here I am in Pont for Dog. Going to end the vlog here. Get back to me next time when I'll be going up there.
somewhere. Codge Biker is out. Wish I knew that in Welsh. What a lovely bridge. Oh, what a beautiful place. Look at this. So nice. It's kind of a place I've wanted to visit for many years but it gets very 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 wet here so I wanted to choose a time when It was dry. <laughs> 